Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So on today's video, I thought I would do an update on my ragdoll cats because I've done some videos like this in the past, um, introducing our new ragdoll to our other ragdoll, bringing our Blue Mink ragdoll home, bringing our Seal Point ragdoll home. Like I've done so many videos and they always seem to do so well. And a lot of you guys have been asking for updates and I have said that I've um, I'm gonna be doing an update and it's been like months since I even said that even like the last year um, I haven't done one so I'm like no I actually gotta do one um, because I haven't updated anyone on the ragdolls and how they're doing so I thought I would kind of talk about ragdolls in this video everything you kind of need to know as well if you're thinking of owning a ragdoll um, and also the realities of owning a ragdoll as well um, you know the positives as well as the negatives even though there's more positives than negative but I thought I'd just mention them anyway so I'm filming on my Canon 80D it is so heavy for my arm right now I usually have been filming vlogs on my phone so I'm not used to holding this big bag boy but I thought I would um, use the good quality camera it's a nice sunny day out and I have locked the house because usually Henry likes to escape um, and he jumps over the fence and he gets out um, so I was like well no he cannot um, for today's video specifically um, ragdolls are not meant to be outside they want meant to be like inside kind of cats they're not that street smart but Henry can't help himself um, and yeah he can't help himself but Mina on the other hand she just loves being at home so if you guys are new and you haven't um, watched my other videos I will link them down below um, we've owned three ragdoll cats um, we've got two at the moment and one of our blue mink ragdolls sadly passed away last year he got run over on the road well that's what we assumed happened and I was so devastated um, we thought our subdivision was such a nice quiet subdivision and that they would be safe but we obviously thought wrong um, and we had lots of big high weeds like um, alongside each side of the road so I reckon he would have run out from there and um, been hit and it was not not nice at all but since then we have um, gotten Mina who is a female um, she is a she's a blue point ragdoll and Henry is a seal point ragdoll Henry is three years old he must be turning four that's 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 wild to me and Mina's only like two um so yeah hopefully you guys like this video and yeah I'll just talk a little bit more about them so firstly I'm going to show you the ragdolls instead of just showing me okay so here we have the cat tower it is covered in here it's super old um, they love this. You guys need to make sure you have a cat tower if you are owning ragdoll cats because look at the state of this and you need a scratch board because otherwise they will scratch your carpet. Look at this. They've really clawed it up. They make holes in the cat tower as well. And down here is Henry. And oh, there's the reality of owning a ragdoll. See these chunks of fur? They will be all over the carpet. Hi, Hen. Hi, you gonna say hi for the camera? You're gonna say hi, pretty boy? What is this? Oh, that's actually part of the cat tower. Part of that thing. Oh my gosh, you've scratched it so much it's turned into cardboard. Hi, Henry, what you doing, you sweet little thing? Henry has such like long fur. He actually doesn't molt as much as Mina does. And he's really soft. Um, he's quite long furred. Henry is so smart and intelligent. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. Ragdolls are just so kind and caring and they're like more like dogs than cats. His favorite toy was a star when he was younger. Oh, look, as soon as Henry gets attention, Mina comes along. She's such a jealous type as well. If we give attention to Henry, <laughs> if we give attention to Henry, she will be like, nah, and like jump in the way, and like bounce over him, but look. She shows that he cares. She cares. Don't know what's happening here. Amy, me. So he's got the long fur, very long bristle tail. What are you doing, Mina? Huh? So she's the one that molts a lot. Um, oh my god, the sliding's so bad here. This is why I need my phone. This is so bad. Guys, can we move position? Because it's not good for the video. <laughs> Um, so anyway, she's the one that molts a lot. 
Amy Meek. She does have anxiety and she still does shit outside of the litter box and she pees on our outside day bed, which I'll show you. Um, so she's a bit more of the critter. Hey, you did a naughty girl. She's a naughty girl of the group, of the two. And she's got astigmatism as well, so her eyes actually shake. Mimi, oh look, there she goes. She's just woken up, she's been under the bed. So she's actually got astigmatism, so her eyes um, shake. You probably won't be able to see it. Hey, Mimi, oh now her claws stuck. Yeah, she's the docile one, she's so funny though. She's got such a personality. Oh. Yep, and her claw is stuck. <laughs> So as you can see here, when I'm patting Henry, his fur comes out like crazy. Like, look at this. And he's hinting to go outside. And that is a no-go, Henry. Our Christmas tree is still up. Oh my god, this is why I don't film on DSLR anymore. It's just so dark in here and annoying. It's really dark in here, right, guys? Yeah, maybe I should get my phone. But anyway, Henry hints to go outside all the time, every morning. So he will meow at the door until you let him out. Um, and he doesn't like to go to the toilet in his litter box. Hey, Mina, he's fussy, eh? So Mina will stay at home and she won't even bother to go outside, really. She will go outside to, like, look for bugs. Like, we've got a nice little section, um, which I will show you soon. Um, but, yeah, she will just stay. Hey, Mimi. She will just stay, here's one of her toys, she likes the feathers. She'll just stay at home and won't be bothered to like go out. And Henry is always the one that wants to go out. So he will annoy you, um, and ragdoll cats will, they will get really needy. So he will scratch on the door, um, and he will meow outside our door if he's busting and go toilet, and if you like have a little bit of a sleep in. So it's like having a kid. A hen, and he really likes the Christmas tree. He will climb it and he'll stick his head out through the top and I will put a photo on the video so you can see. Um, oh, Mimi. Mina loves to play. Like, Henry's kind of over, like, the games. Like, because he's three. Um, he's over the games. Look how blue his eyes are. Hen. Hen. He's, like, he's Dada's favourite. So Matthew loves Henry. He loves them both, of course. But, um, he loves them both. Mina's more playful. She likes chasing feathers and stars and she hunts for bugs outside. So she brings in the bugs for our frog, um, which is in that tank over there. Um, so she finds the bugs. She's a good hunter. And Henry's not so interested in, like, playing with the star or chasing things. Sometimes, but not often. Like, he's more so into, like getting up in high spaces he's into hey you're into like boxes and bags and getting inside of things and no henry you're not going outside hey you need to be a home cat not an outdoor cat um so he likes bags and boxes he likes getting put up high and he understands language as well and he's and they both do tricks as well so ragdolls are really smart they um they do tricks, they do high five, they do sit, they do paw, um, and they will now tap us for food. What they'll do is when we're on the couch eating, um, they will tap us on the arm. Henry used to do it when he was younger, not so much now. Mina will do it sometimes. Um, so yeah, he's, he's really intelligent and you can teach them tricks. So all you have to do is like keep giving them food and what we did for the, um, high five we taught them paw first so we'd put their paw in our hand would put their paw in our hand and then keep giving them the treat and saying the word and henry learned within like three hours so he is very 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 intelligent he will also like look around like if he wants to go somewhere he'll be like like he'll look at you and then look at where he wants to go and matthew will like put him up in like high places so he loves like exploring new things and even like in my beauty room when I opened the window, he was so amazed at it because I never usually open that window and he's like, oh my gosh, that window's open and he was just like staring at it for ages. Um, so yeah, they are really good. They do get along as well. Um, Henry, he wasn't himself after Ragnar passed away for a good three months. So we ended up getting Mina 
um, about four months after he passed away and then um, Henry learnt to trust again and he came right and he was his normal self so they do recommend to have more than one rag doll. Hey Mimi, you guys are friends. Sometimes they like get annoyed of each other. She loves a patch, she will always be next to you. So that's a positive thing about rag dolls. They will keep you company, they'll give you plenty of attention, they are affectionate, they keep you entertained. Um, it's literally like having kids. Like we like these are like our kids at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm such a cat person. I do like dogs too, depending on the breed, but I am a cat. A cat gal so they're really kind and caring animals they know when you're sad they will come to you when you're down they are entertaining like they run around the house like after each other the only negative things are they shit and piss a lot <laughs> so you're constantly changing out litter boxes so Henry is mostly like going outdoors like he doesn't like going in his litter box but yeah when they do go it stinks like their poos smell worse than dog poo um, and also the negative thing is the molting. So I'm going to show you our carpets soon. I, like we have to vacuum probably like every day. <laughs> We've got the best Dyson vacuum. Don't we need me? We need to brush you darling. See look when I pat her. Like you watch. Can you see this fur? Like look at this. I need to brush them every day but being honest I don't. I'm so lazy and then Henry also gets mats in his fur. Which we actually cut out. So I should be brushing them every day. That's just my fault. Like, I'm a busy woman, aren't I, guys? But um, I work from home, so it's really good. Um, they, they, yeah, they like having us around. Matthew's been off work. Um, he's on ACC at the moment. but So he's actually been playing with the cats every night. So that's also, I guess, well, not a negative thing, but if you want to own a rag doll, that could be seen as a negative. Like... They're not just cats where you just feed them and they play outside. Like, they're indoor cats. They need attention. They need play sessions. They need play time. Um, if they're not being let outside and stimulated, then you need to be playing with them for at least 40 minutes a day. Um, yeah, in big spurts. If not, um, little 10-minute sessions throughout the day. Um, and that just keeps them the happiest. Like, our cats are just so happy. Oh, now he's playing. Look at ye. It takes him a while to, like, get into playing. But he knows that I'm, like, wanting to play. I haven't played with them in so long. Because Matthew's been the one that's been playing with them at the moment. He's been, like I said, off on ACC. So they have been really liking him and his attention at the moment. It's funny because ragdolls are also choosers, so they'll choose their favorite person. So Mina was mine in the beginning because I was the more like affectionate, cuddly one. And Ma Henry used to be mine and used to be so rough and aggressive with Matthew, like used to bite him and like, but Matthew would allow that. Like playful bites, like Matthew would be like, ah, and like rack him up on purpose, even though we don't encourage that. <laughs> But he would never bite me. He knows he knows the um, rules with his mum. Hey, you know the rules with me, eh? Um, and it's funny because he acts like he doesn't want attention or love, but he absolutely loves it. And he's such a softy, even though he acts like he's not. He's so funny. Their personalities are so funny as well. Like Henry's more of the intelligent one that's more curious and... Um, just really yeah just really smart really knowing and Mina's more of the like fun docile one that's like what she's got anxiety she's got anxiety all right um so I might need to we were looking into maybe giving her like anxiety hey Mimi don't chew that we were looking into giving her like anxiety tablets or something because she'll like skits out like like hang on I make a noise like See, I make a noise and she's real, like, she's always on edge. And she came from, like, a loving, well, I assume she came from a loving home. They they were Chinese people and, and they had a lot of young kids. So I don't know if she was, like, a bit tormented from the kids. I don't know. But, yeah, she's got a little bit of anxiety. She is way more affectionate than Henry, though. Henry, oh, he'll show his affection in other ways. Like, he'll come and... He'll visit me in my beauty room while I'm editing and he'll flop on the floor and he'll scrape against my legs. Um, or he'll like follow you sometimes. Um, yeah, so he'll do that. So he's happy when he flops like this. Like when he just flops on the floor. 
But anyway, we've been going to the gym and I've been spotting him out on the road with another cat. So I was like, oh my gosh, she looked like a girl cat. So I was like, he's got a girlfriend. Ahen. Look, this is when you can tell he's real happy when he's like fully stretched like this. Ahen, you got a girlfriend. <laughs> You got a girlfriend. I love cell points. He's so. Oh, look at him. He's so my baby. My little baby. Oh, yeah. You got fur everywhere, hen. I might have to go. Um, I might have to film on my iPhone because this camera is just so annoying and the lighting's going in and out and it's going really bad. So I'm gonna get my iPhone and start filming on that. You might not see it, but this is the reality of the carpet. Like you can kind of see there's like big. Like, it looks dirty, and this is after just being vacuumed. Like, look at all this hair. Can you see it? Normally, it's in big chunks, but, like, look at all this hair. Oh, my goodness, and the carpets get so dirty. This camera is so much better than the other one. Sorry, guys. Like, look at this. Hen, back in your favorite spot. You can actually see more on this camera. Sorry, guys, that you couldn't see before. But look at this. Very furry, eh, hen? And, oh, this is Mina's favorite star. So these you can get from Kmart. Like, look at it. It's just a star. And it was attached to a stick. Mimi. So she knows if she's going to get attention, she always sharpens her claws. Mimi. Mimi. Yeah. She always runs for her star. She loves her star. <laughs> um, and it's funny because when Henry... Yeah, she will, like, play with this herself for ages, which is funny. And we normally have these bags, like, put everywhere. So they love bags. So I'll put it down. Hen, you're going to you're gonna play. He knows this word. You want to play, hen? Play. I always say it in that voice, and he knows that I mean come and play. You want to go in the bag, Mimi? She'll get in bags, too. Oh, she'll go if I, like, they love these ping-pongs. And I used to spin them around like this. So we've got a whole box of cat toys over here, by the way, guys. Lots of feathers, lots of things, things to keep them entertained. Get the ball to spin around. Henry takes about 10 minutes to get interested in playing. And Mina, um, she will play, like, instantly. Like, if I throw this ball, she will go instantly, see? <laughs> She will go instantly and he's like, oh yeah. He's like, whatever. She's so beautiful though. She was such a beautiful kitten. And she's still such a beautiful girl. Mimi, you're so beautiful, Mimi. So this is one thing. So Mina is such a messy eater. It's like having a child. So look, this is clean. Like, look how dirty this is. We literally just cleaned this the other day. She brings all the food out the bowl and like eats it on the floor here. And we had to put this mat down, it doesn't do anything. And like, look how messy she is. She's like a child. She's like the messiest eater ever. But that's also a downside, I guess you could say. So a uh, hundred oh, it's hundred and fifty dollars for a 10 kg bag because they need special foods. They eat royal canine um ragdoll adult biscuits. And we also give them dine meat as well. So I'm gonna show you the meat that we give them. This camera is so much better than my other one. Sorry, guys. So here in our cupboard, whoop. So we give them this dine. So we got the chicken one and oh, have we, oh, we don't have their favorites today. They don't mind the chicken one, but their favorite is the purple one, the turkey. That's Henry's like favorite, favorite. Um, So I'm gonna show you their palette. So we do keep palettes on them like with them all the time like in their bowl because they're like starving and they will Mina will tell you about it if there's no pellets in her bowl like if there's no pellets she'll act like she's been starving for days and she'll scratch the door and ask you to bring her food so here's the cat pellets that we use so these are the royal canine um adult rag doll biscuits yeah they're really good they like them pretty well they're good for their diet um and they just they're just the best quality food if you give your animals the best quality food obviously that's gonna make them live longer it's gonna make them happier prone to less disease so it is worth spending that little bit more money so yeah they're 150 sometimes i will get my animates discount because i buy them from animates and i'll get them for like 130 dollars um so yeah i guess that's the downside like i'm buying one of these bags probably like once every three months 
and they're like, yeah, like I said, 150 if you don't have a voucher code. Um, so yeah, and then the, the meat is quite expensive. So we buy the meat and, oh wait, how much is it? So we're buying one of these last one cat for a week because we give them one of these for dinner. Let me show you. Let me show you the size. So it's recommended not to give them these all the time. Mina's like here straight away. She knows, like, if I, and they know the word, if I call out D-I-N-N-E-R, she will think it's time. She already knows. Look, she's at her bowl. She thinks. She's she's smart. So we give them one of these for dinner each. Uh, we used to only be giving them, like, half of one of these each for dinner and just have pellets all the time. Like, as you can see, their bowls are topped up all the time, constantly. This one is a big eater. Like, look. She'll literally eat throughout the day. So we have to make sure that she's got all the pellets there. Otherwise, we will know about it. Um, Henry's not so much a big eater. He's also really skinny for his age. Um, ragdolls are meant to get up to like 20 pounds and females up to 15 pounds. Um, but Henry has just always been like that since he was little. And we, we assured the vet that like he's got food constantly he's got good quality food he's happy he's healthy he's not showing any signs of like sickness or anything um and yeah it's just how he's always been since he was a kitten he's just always been a small cat since he was born um Ragnar on the other hand I will show you a picture of Ragnar over here by a little frame wall we have Ragnar so he's our cat that passed away he was such a big cat and he had green eyes not brown uh, blue eyes or like a greeny blue so his ashes are actually in this box and these are the feathers that um kept coming around our property like they said oh feathers are a sign of like you know the cat's still with you in spirit and literally after he died there was feathers always turning up like in the house which is so weird in the house, outside the house, and I just knew that it was like his little spirit, so I've kept them there to remind me. Um, so yeah, it says Ragnar Rags. He's cute, he's in there. Um, but anyway, now you think it's playtime, eh, Mimi? Because I mentioned it. See, she's more active, and Henry's just like Henry's the lazy one, eh? Because I'm not letting you out, eh, him. And I guess you have to also consider if you're a good traveler. Um, if you want to travel lots, you have to get someone to look after them. I mean, you could put them in a category, but they're bad with change. It's best to keep them in the house if you can. So when we went to Japan, um, we had Matthew's mum coming morning and night to look after them, and she stayed the night over the weekend. Um, so, yeah, they were looked after inside so they didn't have to leave. Um, but Mina definitely got... Where is she? Here's her tail. She definitely got more stressed. So Mina definitely got more stressed. Um, they will like have litter box problems after they've been stressed. So I noticed that after we got back from Turkey at the start of the year and Japan, she was shitting outside a litter box and having accidents way more. So it probably just indicated that she was like quite stressed. Oh, and I'll show you her favorite place to pee on outside because once they've marked something, they will keep doing it so that's the annoying thing i'm going to show you out here what she pees on so this big outdoor bed out here is literally smelling like piss because she comes up here and pees on here all the time so we need to actually clean this hopefully cleaning it will stay or like keep her staying away we've done it once and she just did it again so i was like do i even bother but yeah this is the section where they roam amina just literally roams out here um and look at our contraption. Oh my gosh, don't mind that. Um, we made this when we went to Japan to try and keep Henry in the section. Because all around here, like, he actually can't get out. Like, all our gates are pretty high. Like, he can't jump any of this. Our neighbours go way down, like, a, a metre drop from our section. So he can't jump over there. It's just this area where he could jump because the neighbours have this, like, um, uh, roof thing that's, like, attached to the fence. So he gets up and he runs along here. And this is how he gets out. He runs along the roof and then he goes across this section down there. He runs across these little beams and then he'll escape. But this is our little section. Like, they've got a good enough little space to, like, explore and, you know, find bugs and stuff. Don't ask me why, but there's two, two toilets in the front. Oh, my gosh. Reality, there's a shit. Surprisingly, that one's not smelly. <laughs> 
but we literally have to change out their toilets every like every freaking day but we fully like change this like maybe twice a week matthew's been doing it i haven't done it for ages but like see this this is like little i won't touch it because it's been pissing in there but this is like wood chip um palettes and then when they piss in it it turns to like sawdust so this is like where it's being peed on so you meant to like sieve out the um wheeze and you sieve out the poos so i need to do that so two of them are there because we had one there and then men decides to shit here in this corner and vice versa so i was like oh my gosh i put two there and it stopped her shitting in each corner for a little while and then she just started shitting around like the litter box i was like oh my gosh but she hasn't done it for a little while since we got back from Japan, so let's hope it stays that way. Oh, and I also, did you in here? I also have one here, but, oh no, yes, someone's used it. They haven't used this one much, actually. Someone has used it, though, I can see. Um, so this one's in the corner by the kitchen. So, yeah, there's three litter boxes. They say to have more litter boxes than you have cats. So we've got two rag dolls so we have three litter boxes so if you have three rag dolls you need four to five litter boxes <laughs> it's a lot um and i'm so tempted to get another rag doll but matthew's like no like you know the expenses go up because we get them yearly vaccinated yearly vet checks all the food that we get um so yeah we spend 150 every three months on the big pallets and we spend i completely got distracted before when i was showing you the food in the cupboard so it's like it's like $2.40 a day for meat as well. So at the end of every week, that's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It's like $17 a week we spend on their meat. It's nearly $80 a month for their meat. Um, and yeah. And then there's also flea and worm treatments. Being honest, I was giving them flea and worm treatments for so long up until like last year. Because, well, apart from Henry, they're mostly indoor cats. So... Yeah, I mean, me and stuff does go outside, but they've just shown no signs of fleas. So I haven't actually given them flea and worm in a little while, but I should do. So flea and worm, I was paying like $60 a month for the monthly flea and worm from the vet. Um, so that was like quite a lot. So that's why I stopped doing it for a little bit. Um, you know, got to save on the expenses. Okay, I'm going to show you their routine. So they're pretty good. They understand language as well. Like when I say, we're the moth, Henry like looks around like looking for moths or bugs. Um, but you watch when I call this special word, they will come running to the bowls. You ready? You ready? Okay, they might not do it. Dinner! Dinner! Who want dinner? Who want dinner? Who want dinner? We got one. Henry's looking at me down the hall like, hey, but it's not that time of day. For one. For one. Hold up. There we go. She's giving me a pull, but she never puts it in my hand. Henry's better at that. High five. Look at that, good girl. She does this whippersnapper. Look how she whippersnaps. She goes whoosh, whoosh, with the tail. You really give it to me. Eh? Mimi, up here. Up here. Up high, up high, up high. Yeah, so sometimes that happens. It takes them, like, ages to do their tricks because they're, like, uh, either they don't really want food, but if they're, like, desperate for food, they will, like, do it super fast. I mean, and they'll flop on the floor like this. If they're happy, they'll flop on the floor. Ayn, where are you? What you doing, Henry? Hmm? You funny kitty. Mina talks a lot, so, like, you watch. She will chat away. She's such a meower. And he, Matthew is so cute. He'll, like, just stand there and talk to her. What? Hey. What? You talking? Oh. She always chats. Mimi, oh, you want to talk to mama, Mimi, oh yes, <laughs> she always lies like this, she's such a character, eh, she's so funny, I'm just trying to get their personalities in this little video, because they're so funny, like, she's hilarious, Henry's hilarious, where am I, Hen, where, he's pissed off, he knows when I'm filming, eh, Hen, that doesn't look like a happy Christmas kitty, <laughs> and when I give Henry attention, Mina's like, nah, it's my attention. <laughs> he knows when I need cuddles, he'll snuggle. And he'll purr, he purrs really lightly. Cuddle. See if he snuggles me. Snuggle him. 
Let me show you. He secretly likes it, guys. You watch his face. He loves it. He acts like he doesn't want attention, but he's secretly a softie. Let me show you. But look, ragdolls are so good. You can like literally just flip them like this. Hold them like a baby and they won't scratch you or claw you. Yay, she's my little Christmas baby. They won't scratch or claw no matter what you do. Like Henry's our big softy. He's even more gentle than Mina. Mina's gentle, but like she's a female, so... She's got a little bit more like hunting instinct. So if you like pat her on her belly, she will give you like a little warning. Hey, I'll pick up Mina, you'll see the difference. <laughs> she will talk, she'll tell you. You're gonna talk to the camera, Mimi? You're gonna talk to the camera? You're gonna tell them hello? You're gonna tell them hello? Oh yes, see there's her noises are, she will warn ya. You want to tell them? Oh Mimi, no need to make the noise. She was always like, Mmm, you silly little noises. She'll always sleep on the bed next to us too. She's like a really, she's a home girl. Oop. But even if she's annoyed, she'll never do anything. Like I'm like going like this. Mm. Just put up with it. Hey, you like my little baby my little baby she'll like kick you with her feet to let you know she want to be put down Mimi what's your noise she's like such a cute little one when you say hi she's so cute look at her you gonna tell them hello Mimi she secretly loves that look oh Mimi not with the silly noise <laughs> and this is the reality so it's all stuck in my lip gloss, all the hair, and look at my top. Can you see this? So everything around our house is covered with cat hair. So I guess it's half our fault because we don't brush them daily, but it is still ridiculous. Like Matthew's like, I don't know how they're not bald <laughs> by now. The good thing is if you are a cat owner, I highly recommend lint rollers. These ones are from Bunnings, they're really good. But literally... Like, look at this. It will take off all the hair. So you can see, like, me and Matthew, like, constantly lint rolling our clothes before we leave the house. And he's like, you can do my back. And he, like, gets me to do his back. <laughs> so, yeah. So we always lint roll. Oh. And, like, even, I don't know if you can see on the lint roll, it's, like, full of cat hair already. Crazy. And then this one, you just peel off the layers and do, like, a fresh layer. So, lastly, I'll just show you their toys. Like, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. I recommend if you're getting ragdoll, you need to experiment with toys. If not, make your own. Like, like we've actually made our own. Mum made this for the cats, which was really cool. She just found this, like, driftwood on the beach and, like, tied um, little feathers and strings. So, it used to be longer than this, but it's since broken. Oh, Mimi's already interested. Oh, Mimi. She loves to play. Come in. She's a good player. She's a good player. And Henry, like I said, just likes being put up high. Like, we'll put him up on the fish tank. We'll put him up, like, way up the top of the fridge there and on the microwave. And we've put him, like, up on the shelf. Um, we've put him up on sills. Like, he just loves it. Or, yeah, being, being in bags or, like, we put boxes all over the floor and he, like, climbs into them. Henry has been escaping, on the other hand, and he'll go to, like two in the morning and Matthew's like oh my gosh like I need to go to sleep the cat's not inside yet and he like gets so worried and I'm like just leave the door open and then like next thing you know I'm like asleep and Matthew's still waiting because they're like his babies he's secretly like his babies hey, Mimi. they're secretly like his babies so he's he gets really worried about them he'll wait for um Henry to come back before he locks up the house um, but yeah, I guess we've been really on edge because of how Ragnar passed away last year and we don't want that to happen to Henry. Even though Henry was probably a little bit more street smart than Ragnar was, Ragnar just was, he would see anybody and wouldn't even care. Hen, come. Yeah, he just wants to go outside now. He's like starting to circle. He's like, why aren't you letting me out? Honestly, they're so happy and healthy. They love us so much. Um, they get treated like kings and queens. They do for sure. 
He knows when he's getting filmed, like, he shuts his eyes. You're going to see yourself here. Look at this. Hey. It's so funny because Henry gets pissed off with me when we close the door off on him. And what he'll do, the last update, I forgot to tell you guys, he'll go around the couch, even though we're sitting on the couch, he won't just go straight to the door and meow at the door. He will have to, he does a lap and he'll go around the couch then he'll wait at the door and then he'll meow. And if we don't listen, he'll do another lap and he'll go around the couch and then he'll wait at the door and meow. It's so funny. He's such a character. Um, but anyway, I'm going to conclude this vlog. I don't think that I need to update you guys on anything else. She knows I'm filming, so she's like, what are you doing? Mimi, you going to talk to me? No warnings. Look, she's giving me warnings. She will sometimes let me pat her on the belly. It just depends if she's in a mood or not. Oh, what do you think little threatening look? Oh, you're in a, look, she's in a threat mode. Oh, is it the warning? Let's see what mama's going to do. Look, she will warn you and her tail goes, <laughs> she beats it. Oh, see, that is a sign of anxiety. Like, she will literally just freak over nothing. So, I don't know. I don't know. That's the only thing. So, yeah, do you guys have advice um, on a cat with anxiety? Like, I've read some things online. Um, but, yeah, I just, I maybe need to uh, mention that at our next vet appointment, which is next month i think so i will mention that that she's got quite a bit of anxiety and she's still like who's outside the litter box which is also a sign of stress and anxiety so yeah i got cat hair all on my lips oh my god okay we're gonna go now so i'm gonna go and edit this video and hopefully you guys liked this little update i know you guys have been asking me for ages so hopefully you enjoyed say bye hen say bye say bye to the camera Say bye. You do boys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions about rag dolls or anything else you want to know, then let me know down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them for you guys. And I have a hair in my lip. It's, this is the reality. Like I get hair stuck in my lip gloss. And all my clothes. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I'm glad I finally did an update for you guys. It's been so long. Um, but if you want to see, if you want to see anything else, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be sure to film it for you all. Even though it may take a while, I still have all of your requests on my mind, and I still remember each one of them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this. Um, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday. Well, I've been used to set uploading Mondays, but it has been once a week, and I upload YouTube shorts every day so i hope you guys have a great week and i will see you on my next week's video bye